What's up, everyone? Hope you're having a good afternoon, good evening, or good morning, whichever you are, and whatever time you're watching this. Um, today, I want to show you a because of the high gas fees on Ethereum network now, it's just not very feasible. Nobody's really making moves, or only nobody small with amount of money are making moves uh, on there. I want to show you how to do. Um, transactions on the X dot network all right step by step um, I created a, a account vanity account uh, address it's all clean right here it starts with C A C 4 A O ends with A B 2 E all right we're gonna follow along you can see this on the either scan right now there's no transactions and we're gonna go deposit some ethereum and step by step how, how to get over there and what is it um, on the X dot network it's just like <clears throat> Uh, Ethereum, all the smart contracts uh, are compatible. It's just the transactions are based on uh, XDAI, which is a dollar pegged uh, token, which is just and it costs like pennies to execute each transaction. It's worth it to take a look at. So I have some Ethereum here. I'm gonna go over there, uh, withdraw it to my uh, Ethereum address, copy that. I'm gonna take it, withdraw all, max, and withdraw. Now I have 2FA, so got my trading password. I like the extra security. You send the email, code, I'm do everything else on my phone so it doesn't show up on the screen. There it is. Got my email verification code. And my Google verification code, triple FA right there. Where it just changed one and boom, invalid code. There you go, it just changed. All right, so we're just gonna wait maybe when it shows up. Then we'll continue with the lesson. All right, so that was actually pretty fast. It was less than about 30 seconds to a minute. Uh, I barely stopped the recording and came back. So uh, we're going to convert some of them into DAI. Um, let's say $300 worth. Just to, I know it's kind of sell it, but once we come send it over to the XDAI, I'm going to buy the ETH back and some other stuff. Um, all right, this is just uh, we're gonna have to do one just showing the how the transaction works and wow hmm we're gonna do it $22 for that transaction hope you guys appreciate what I am uh, showing here but uh, it's just one we're gonna get the ETH back um, normally that's that is why you know those big transaction over 10,000 it's still the same fee so us little guys you know doing these little things you know, it's totally not worth it, but to show you guys, I think it's worth it. Now I have some die. All right. Now we're gonna use the X die uh, bridge right here. D A C it shows up right here. How much? It's called die bridge POA network. I'm gonna trans transfer it or 300 of it to the X die network. All right. Four dollars. See the transaction fee to go over there. It's not that bad. It's much smaller compared to even normal Uniswap transactions. So once you get there, that is all the fees you need to send money. All right, I send about three hundred dollars worth uh, for about five dollars. You can send up to thousands, ten thousand worth for the same amount. It's gonna go through the confirmations. Now I have to switch my network to the XDAI. To do that, you have to come up here to your MetaMask and you want to say. Let's see. Network. Oh yeah, Ethereum network. You want to go custom RPC, and here's the information I have to put in. I will show you my information. I will put the information down below also, but uh, I'll just show you networks. And this is the information I have to put in there. 
uh, to it's like a test network but it's real money consequences send it over there you you can still trade for ETH buy other most of the big uh, tokens just the transaction fees just a lot smaller all right and there's a lot of stuff other stuff like biofinance is moving over there a lot of smart contracts are just because it's it's compatible it's just like using on ethereum except it's the transaction it's a lot faster and transaction fee a lot once you smaller. put that in and this is going it should be over there soon uh once you reach eight we can go over there right now but um uh we'll wait a little bit once you go over there you just switch it over to the xdi and you know uh probably wait a couple of more minutes fairly soon so now i have some uh, X die and gas fee to play with. There it is, 300 X die. Now, Honey Swap is the Uniswap equivalent on the X die. So now I have 300 X die on this side. Let's see my network should show up. Let me refresh. I'm gonna buy back the the Ethereum that I basically sold but I'm not just gonna buy all Ethereum I'm gonna show you some other stuff like if you want to if you like this platform how the XDAI platform stake platform you might want to buy a little bit there share so see I have 300 of my XDAI I'm gonna buy a hundred of my hundred dollar worth of my week back insufficient week balance oh this is liquidity all right I was doing it now you just want to swap to week all right, I'm gonna buy $100 of it back, a third of it back in Ethereum, and we're gonna see what the transaction fee is. Look at this. Uh, what is that? 0, 0.00 less than less than a tenth of a penny. All right, compared to five twenty-two dollars on Ethereum uh, right now, which is you can say ridiculous. Yes. So let's see if it goes through. All right. Uh, you can set the slippage. Um, there it is. I bought a hundred of them back. Now I want to go check out XDAI. It, I like the platform. It's on a dip. I like that. Anytime on a dip, you probably want to buy a little bit of it. But for uh, if, if education, mechanical purposes, show you how to do it on this side. And I'll show you how to add the pool to it. To you can do. Let's see, less than a penny. You can do, and also I want to invest in maybe some of this honey swap. You know, uh, this honey swap is just like uni. It's pretty nice. So I'm gonna have a third of it in honey, but I might need to save a little bit <clears throat> left just in case. So I'm gonna do just ninety dollars on honey. All right. So I still have a little bit of it too, because it it takes so little. I only need about five bucks, five x dollars worth probably left just for the gas to play with look at look at, i already made 10. if i was on the ethereum probably it will be costing me at least 200 dollars right now right now you can add to pool i'm gonna add a liquidity so they can be my tokens will be basically earning money for me honey and steak is a good um since they you know they're very correlated uh honeys on this platform they probably go well together so I'm gonna put about all my steak and the honey all together. You want to approve both of them, which costs about six cents for this one. Uh, the approving costs more than the transactions, trade fees. Interesting. But yeah, um, then you can add wheat uh, to steak or whatever, anything you want. Uh, I tend since the tokens they tend to go up together. They don't have to a lot of. Uh, um, Impermanent loss, as it was said. Um, you're looking 20 cents for this one. Wow, I guess their fees going up too. <laughs> uh, but at least it's an X time, which is dollar denominated, so it doesn't have inflationary value. Think about the future value of all the ETH transaction fees we're using right now. You know, ridiculous, right? Now I approve them. I'm gonna supply both sides about equal amount. Looks like. A stake is a little bit more than that yeah because only about 90% of it so now I'm gonna put all my honey and the steak in there we're gonna supply and say confirm all right now I just added my token into the liquidity 
for them to start earning the liquidity pool. You, your share of the pool is about uh, what determines how much you get it. Be so they slowly will slap, splash back and forth and get a bit. The, be the best thing about it is now you have a liquidity token. Now for um, if you click over here on analytics on the right, you'll bring this uh, chart which has a lot of very good information on what's the most liquidity, most volume, and their price information. Uh, definitely worth taking a look at. Now Honeycomb, uh, the honey HMY dot farm is sort of like the yield farming of the on the on the uh, Ethereum. But right now there's no farm right now. I think they're just taking a break. See how the everything goes. Uh, but it's worth looking at here that once you have your suppose I had my honey at stake uh, liquidity, I can stake here. And but right now there's no rewards right now. But when they do open up, this is how you would just approve then stake, then you start earning some honey with your liquidity pool tokens. All right, and the transaction fees are just, you know, so minimal. You can just move things around without worrying about spending too much on that fee. So uh, that's about it. Um, take a look at it. You can check out all the tokens. Sometimes you see these hot tokens coming up and you want to, you know, just uh, come already hill break and trade for them right away. So there you go, the mechanics of how to move your token to and from. Now, also, Omni Bridge uh, is the bridge. Now, br uh, the die bridge is where you move your die. Omni Bridge is where you move everything else on the token. All right, so we have the X die. Hold on. Please switch wallet to X die chain. Yeah, it's on the X die chain. So if I want to move my Ethereum that I just bought back over with, uh, you cannot move direct Ethereum, but you have you can move your wrapped Ethereum, which can then be unwrapped with very minimum fee also. All right, let's see. So we're gonna move my with that I just bought. I'm gonna transfer back over. Oh, okay, more than one. Maybe after more after I have more than one with. Uh, point one, but that's how you do it. Then your wrapped either will come over here. Then you will have to unwrap. Okay. Let me see. Back to the Ethereum network. Then when you have your wrapped Ethereum, and back to the unwrapped, it will. Uh, let's see. If you had some, it will cost a lot less than just tra you know trading them. Probably about half to 60 percent less all right so that is all i have to show you this time hope that helps i'll see you on the next one peace all right one more thing as you can see uh back on the either scan all these transactions that i just did from kucoin sending me my either then i sold uh transferred some either into die and then i send the die out to the uh xdai network on the Ethereum um, blockchain. Now, if you want to see the um, information on the XDAI, you just come over here and you look at activity and you go click view uh, the transaction. It will take you to blockscout.com and you can see all my transactions on the XDAI network uh, on this address, which shows me all, all the trades you know the 100 fee 100 coming in um blah 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 it's so cool isn't it so so cool all right